I was telling them, jump out the window. I didn't give a fuck that we was on the second floor. Nigga, jump out the window. Like, please, jump out the window. Don't go through the door. Jump. But them some hood ass niggas, and they was looking at me like, bitch, you stupid as shit. I'm walking out the goddamn door when y'all leave. You know the vibes. It's Jay. Hand me the lighter, I'm about to get litter than a bitch. Big, big period. Are you serious? These hoes are acting all delirious, and I ain't. You know the vibes. This is a disclaimer. It's Jay. It is 10:05 p.m. on Tuesday, December the 7th. But let me tell you something. The way that this tequila is setting in my body. There's no way I'm editing this video tonight and getting it to you tonight. So guess what? This is Vlogmas Day! Never have I ever been a part of a shared relationship. I am not that girl. I'm not. Never have I ever pretended to be cool with someone just for a YouTube video. So, you know what I'm saying? I've done a few collabs. I haven't done a lot like I wanted to, but I've done a few collabs. And um, have I ever pretended? No, I've never pretended. All of my collabs have been like really legit and really cool. That's all I'm gonna say. Never have I ever fallen in public because I was drunk. Now, see, in this situation, I'm gonna say no because honestly, I wasn't even drunk. I was actually the party's promoter slash hookah girl. And I was just overwhelmed. Every, I didn't know everybody wanted a hookah. Oh my God, this is before I really got into hookah myself, but now I understand. Everybody wanted a hookah. Everybody wanted new clothes. Some people wanted a repack. And I was making my way across the dance floor trying to get back. And y'all, I didn't even make it. I, I passed out. Like, I passed out and all I know is that somebody had me in their arms taking me to the car and I was like no 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 I gotta go back in the party and it was like no you just fell and I said what Ziggy was performing and I just felt really I felt really embarrassed I really did never have I ever traveled hours for a D appointment in my case for some for some meow yeah and I have and I have, and I do, and I do that. And I do do that. I don't want to explain, and I don't want to explain because I, because I really want to just take a shot. And I just, I don't want to, I don't want to talk about it. I really don't want to talk about it. Because I don't want to talk about it. Come on now. When it's time to get that box slapped, <laughs> slap in the boxes. Yeah, go get that. I don't have no explanation on why I go hours just to get some kitty cat, but I do that. I ain't worth that. Fuck her being worth it. I ain't worth it. Nah, I'm just fucking with you. We both worth it. Shit. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers to the travel and be safe. Yeah, go get that. I gotta mark that one out. I could just mark the whole back side out. I did it, I did it already. Okay, now we on the up, uh, and now we on the up, uh, I'm about to say the passenger side, what in the fuck is really going on? Now we on the front side. Never have I ever as I scroll my marker up and down and I choose you. Which one did I choose? Bitch, you ain't choose shit. Is this marker going dead? I think I chose that one. Never have I ever fought behind a dude or a girl that I thought loved me. Ain't no fucking way in hell I'm about to get in a fist fight with a hoe about Nan, nobody. No, I'm not doing that. This has always been my motto. I would never, never, never fight over anybody. But what I will do, I will beat your ass for disrespecting me. Now that's a whole difference. I would never, ever, ever fight for no man or no woman, no girl, no boy, but I will beat the fuck out of you and your aunt and your cousins and your sister. I'ma leave all the grandmas out of this, but I will beat your ass for disrespecting me. And I said what the fuck I said. Hey, never have I ever gave head while driving. I don't really want to explain this one. Yes, I have, I, I attempted. First of all, it was not a him, it was a her. And that's all the explanations that I would do because I'm taking this shot and I don't want to explain. Because when I start to explain stuff, y'all just be reaching and searching and digging and y'all be thinking and assuming and thinking. And it's just never not that. Okay, 
Okay, never have I ever got cheated on. Duh. It sucks, but yeah, it happens. It don't matter. You're gonna get cheated on. Everybody gonna get cheated on. But it won't happen again. I dare a bitch to try it now. I dare her to mother. I dare a bitch to try it today while we in motherfucking COVID. You out here cheating on me and it's COVID outside? <laughs> Never have I ever got my toes sucked. Yeah, I actually have. And just to put a little bonus out there, I sucked a little toe myself. Yeah, I did. Matter of fact, I think I put like more than one toe in my mouth because it fitted so perfectly in there. And I was like, shit, Jay, go for two, go for three, bitch. Can you get the fourth one in there? Now, I know I did not put the whole foot in my mouth, but I would have tried. Never have I ever lied for a friend. Yes, I have. And you know what that did? That got me on punishment. The last time I lied for a friend is the last time I had a friend, which is when I was in high school, okay? So basically what had happened was, my daddy was like he was going to work. I don't know why my daddy always trying to use work as an excuse. He be lying too. He was like, yeah, he going to work. Me and my friend looking at each other like, <laughs> and she, she looking at me like, <laughs> so you know what we do. This is before I was gay. So we called the dudes up, you know what I'm saying? Ugly ass. Beer belly dudes. Yeah, that's the kind of dude I was talking to at the time. That was the last dude actually that I talked to was a beer belly dude and I was just, and he had a baby mama. Oh my, yeah, drop the goddamn marker. But anywho, so the dudes came over, right? And uh, we, not we, he, yeah he as in my dad, stayed with his girlfriend who had stayed on the second level of her apartment. So you know, they came up the steps Y'all, and we in there chilling. Like they came in with they with they fitted, so we taking they hats. We in the bathroom with our tank tops and basketball shorts on because you know basketball shorts are like easy access, duh. You know tank tops with no bra, duh. Cause you can see, duh. So yeah, that's what we had on. We got they fitted on and we taking pictures in the in the in the bathroom. And um, my dad comes back. So I got them in the room that I'm, like this not even my place. This is my dad's girlfriend's place that I'm just living with him could be. With her. We're just staying there. So he comes and I, we put their asses in the goddamn closet of the bedroom. And my daddy think he's so slick. Like he think he's so, he think he's so smart. My daddy like, yeah, he need to go to the store. And me and her thinking that this is perfect. Like, yes, let's go to the store. Like, we are excited. Like, we're acting like, yeah, we want to get this and we want to get that. Like, you know how, like, you overdo it? Like, why are these bitches so fucking happy? You know what I mean? Like, why are they moving like that? Like, we were literally moving really sneaky now that I think about it. Like, I would run to the room, then she would run to the room. We, like, had to just make sure that somebody was in the room and he didn't go in the room. Make a long story short, but it ain't short. It's actually really long, not too long though, but I'ma just continue where the fuck I left off at. So we about to leave to go to the store. And my dad is like trying to lock the door himself, but I'm trying to act like I forgot something. So nah, let me lock the door because I'm only going to lock the bottom door so that when they leave, they lock the bottom door and only the bottom door is locked, right? Yeah, no, my daddy ain't stupid. So, basically, we go to the store, my daddy locked both of the locks. When we came back, only the bottom lock was locked. I was telling them niggas to jump out the window. No cap, I was telling them, jump out the window. I didn't give a fuck that we was on the second floor. Nigga, jump out the window. Like, please, jump out the window. Don't go through the door, jump. But them some hood ass niggas, and they was looking at me like, bitch, you stupid as shit. I'm walking out the goddamn door when y'all leave. That's what they did. So when we came back from the store, my daddy called me in the room. And he, my daddy really don't want to embarrass me unless he had to embarrass me. But my daddy had no problem at all embarrassing me if he needs to embarrass me. But in this moment, he did not embarrass me. He 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 told me to come in the room. He said, uh, so I know you had somebody in here because I locked both of the locks. And when we came back, only the bottom lock was locked. And I was looking like... <laughs> 
looking stupid as fuck. Like, my friend had to go home in the morning. She couldn't, she couldn't spend a night again, ever. Never have I ever questioned my sexuality. Yup, I did. It lasted, it lasted for like three minutes, no cap. I was in college and the girlfriend that I had had at that time, she just kept cheating on me. Yeah, the same person that I said, never have I ever got cheated on, yeah, that person. She kept cheating on me, y'all, and I got sick of the shit, right? And I was really drunk. And you know, I was talking that shit because I I am a shit talker, and I can't stand when somebody is like trying to act like I can't back up my. Sh I had to make sure I wasn't marketing myself. I can't stand when somebody trying to act like I can't back up my shit. You know what I'm saying? So shit, shit. That's why I'm gay. That is exactly why I am full blown lesbian gay and I love a woman and I, I never appreciated a woman so much. Never. Ever. But yeah, I did. Never have I ever had a crush on my girlfriend. Like my, like my girl and the, oh my God! Nah, I ain't conceited. I'm a different breed. Catch you slipping, best belief. I don't need no reason. I'ma cut the ties, ho. Turn your wife to my ho. Just focus on you, baby girl. <laughs> J vibes. You know the vibes. You know the fuck going on. And I'm out this bitch.